So this piano track could really benefit from having bass underneath it. And for that, we're gonna use easy bass. Now when you're using easy bass along with easy keys, things get even easier. But of course you can use this along with any uh, piano uh, instrument that you want. So let's go ahead and pull up easy bass here. Now there's a lot of ways you can use easy bass. We could of course head into our pre-programmed grooves, find something you like and drag it in or drag it down here. Head in here and customize your chords to make sure it follows along with, uh, you know, with what you're playing. You can also head into the grid editor and really dial down to uh, exactly what you want. Head over to your articulations and really get in there and uh, customize things for just the bass track that you want. But we're going to do something that's super easy here. We're going to come over here to the drums and keys tab and actually generate custom MIDI based on the MIDI track that we're using for our piano. Now we can't just come over here and drag it directly in from the DAW, but when you're using easy keys, we'll just head over here to the browser. I'll simply grab the uh, MIDI file, drop it right in here. And over here on the piano tab, you'll have two options. Our left hands are basically just like the low notes or rhythm and chords. We can go and play this and hear what it generated for us. Okay, could play this one. Okay. I can play back the track and also hear the bass. So for this, I just want something that's very simple. I just want the uh, sort of the low notes there. So from here, there's a lot of stuff we can do. I could use my drop down. I could show similar grooves to this uh, generated groove. I could drag it down in here and then of course, customize it, head into your grid editor, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Come back here, or I can just grab it and drag it right in. And guess what? We have already created a bass track to go along with our piano that was uh, generated for us and goes right along with uh, our piano proper keys and everything. Sounds much better now, much more full. Right? Of course, within Easy Bass, you have tons of options for customizing the overall sound. But what do you do if you're not using MIDI from within Easy Keys? No problem. Let's say instead, let's come over here. So let's say you're using some third party MIDI track for your piano. No problem. Play that. Okay. Well, in this case, uh, you're going to have a couple options depending on the DAW that you're using. So obviously, we can't just drag it in here. But what I could do is, at least here in Studio One, I could just drag the MIDI directly from my browser, and drop it right in there. If you can't do that in your DAW, just head in to your file system and you can just drag it right in from there as well. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay. Maybe I want that one this time, or I could go to uh, show similar grooves. Could check, uh, check those out, drag those in. If I wanted to come back here to our drums and keys, I'll just drag this one right out. There we go. We have generated our perfect uh, bass track. What if you're not using MIDI files? What if instead you are playing the MIDI in? No problem. Let's check out uh, how we would do that. And you don't even have to use easy keys for this. So maybe we'll use contact here in instead. So let's go ahead and record and enable that track. I'll just play in something real, uh, real simple and real quick here. Okay, very simple, very quick. It doesn't need to be complicated. For this, let me go ahead and uh, we could tune this up, of course, edit it however we want before we do the export. But that is what we're going to do. We're going to export the MIDI file and then drop it in to Easy Bass. Now, how you do this will be dependent on your DAW. Here in Studio One, I'll just right click and I'll go to Export Selection and I'll make sure that I have this as a MIDI file. Give it a name. We'll say Piano 56. That is fine. Take note, of course, of where you uh, happen to place it and save your MIDI file. There we go. We are done. With that, let's get rid of this track here on Easy Bass. Go ahead and open up Easy Bass. And now you'll have a few different ways to get this MIDI into Easy Bass. We could use our 
uh, MIDI file select here, open and navigate to that file. Again, here in Studio One, I could come back to my files and just navigate to that location, which is right here. In this case, I would have to go ahead and refresh that. It should be right in here, Piano 56. So of course I could drag it in like that. If you can't do that, again, just head into your browser and drag it in from there. Boom, there we go. So now we have our generated bass track. Again, you can find similar grooves that go along with that or use whatever they uh, create for you. That works for us. Let's go ahead and grab it, throw it right in, and guess what? Just that fast. So very simple. Again, we could have customized that more if we wanted to find the similar grooves or of course, just drag it in here, customize it however you want. Head over to the grid editor, maybe add some slaps in there if you wanted to do that. Ghost notes, middle finger, make it to a slap pop. A lot of stuff you can do here. You know, Easy Bass is a great instrument, a great plugin to have around, uh, especially if you're a composer. It really helps you to be able to get things down quickly. Uh, create scratch tracks, and of course you can replace the bass with uh, you know a real bass, or use the sounds within Easy Bass. Here they are high quality sounds, and nobody's gonna know the difference. And then and again, there's there's tons of options in here that uh, you can go through that we did not even scratch the surface. All right, but if you want to add bass to your piano tracks, that's a really quick and easy way by using Easy Bass from TuneTrack.